Welcome back to Scary Stories, the channel where we bring you the most bone-chilling tales from the depths of our imagination. In today's story, we'll take you on a journey through the eerie silence of a deserted town, where a deadly virus has spread and turned the streets into a graveyard. The story is called Sick, and it will make you question the very nature of our existence in a world where a single disease can wipe out everything we hold dear. Are you ready to face your fears and join us on this terrifying adventure? Then buckle up, because things are about to get dark and twisted. In the 21st century, humanity is forced to fight an invisible enemy that easily takes lives. A terrifying virus rapidly captures new territories. Karen and her friend were used to having fun and being active. In April 2020, they were forced to stay at home and languish from boredom. One day, they went out of town to a family cottage located on the shore of a beautiful lake. Here, the heroines freely went outside, walked around, and were not afraid of being caught and fined. However, the calm waters held a terrible secret. Now, the friends are in mortal danger. When Karen and her friend arrived at the cottage, it seemed like there was no danger. The lake was calm, quiet, and the surrounding area was very beautiful. They began to spend their days walking in the forest and enjoying nature. But soon, Karen began to notice something strange. When they walked in the woods, she felt like someone or something was watching them from behind the trees. At first, she thought it was just simple paranoia, but every day she became more and more convinced that they were not alone in the forest. One day, when they went for a walk on the shore of the lake, Karen noticed that the calm waters suddenly stirred, as if someone had made a dive there. Karen's friend didn't notice anything unusual, and they decided to return to the cottage. But on the way back, Karen heard a noise that sounded very similar to footsteps. She turned around and saw a figure in the woods that disappeared behind the trees. Karen was terrified and told her friend what she saw. They decided to pack up and leave the cottage, but when they opened the door, they saw that their path was blocked by a strange person in a protective suit. The person began to approach them, and they realized that they had entered a quarantine zone where a dangerous virus was spreading. And then they heard a scream coming from the shore of the lake. The friends decided to take a risk and ran there in search of help. But when they got closer to the water, they saw that there were bodies of people floating in it, who seemed to be victims of the virus. It was at that moment that the friends realized that they were alone here with the enemy, and that they had to do everything possible to survive. They began to run, but the virus quickly caught up with them. Every day, their condition worsened, and they realized that they could no longer go anywhere, and that they would have to fight for survival here. They built a shelter and began gathering everything that could help them survive, food, water, medicine. They tried to avoid any contact with the infected, and their noises and screams became louder and closer. One night they heard strange sounds and Karen decided to go out and check what was happening. She went out onto the road and saw that there was someone else there. It was a survivor who was hiding in the woods, like them. He explained to them that they were not alone, that there were other people fighting for survival, and that together they had more chances. They decided to join this community, but it was too late. The virus turned out to be too strong, and they died in terrible agony, not even having time to understand what had happened. That's the end of the story. Thanks for your attention.